let's take a look at how to estimate the quotient. Estimate the quotient, which sign makes the equation true? Well, we have 3,218 divided by seven, and I wanna figure out, is that less than or greater than 357? So when they tell us to estimate, the idea is we wanna pick a number that's close to this that's gonna be a little easier to work with or a little easier to use mental math with. So since I'm dividing it by seven, I wanna think about numbers that seven goes into. Okay, so I know seven times three is 21, seven times four is 28, and seven times five is 35. So let's take one that's just a little smaller, right? If I said, okay, well 28, let's make that 2800, is a little bit smaller than 3,218. But the reason I'm picking this number is it's gonna divide evenly by seven and it's gonna be relatively easy mental math. Because if seven goes into 28 four times, then it has two more zeros in 28. I'm just gonna put two more zeros on my answer. So that means seven goes into 2,800 400 times. Okay, so now notice I rounded down, right? 2,800 is smaller than 3,218. So the answer I get for this actual value should be a little bit bigger than 400. Okay, so I'm gonna say 400 plus, right? It's gonna be a little more than 400. Okay, well, if I know my answer is a little more than 400, that's enough to answer this question because 400 is already greater than 357. So the answer that's more than that definitely has to be greater than 357. So we're gonna fill in our question mark with the greater than symbol. Estimate the quotient. Okay, we have 6,743 divided by eight, and we wanna compare that to 631. Okay, so again, I wanna pick a number that's close to this 6,793 that's gonna be much easier to work with. Well, I know eight goes into 64, so I'm gonna round this down a little bit to 6,400, and again, my goal is to pick a number that's gonna be really easy mental math for me. Okay, I know that's not exactly how you'd round this number, you'd round it down to 67, but I'm just trying to pick something relatively close to get an estimate here. And again, the reason I'm picking this number is because I can easily say, well, eight goes into 64 eight times. Well, this has two more zeros in 64, so I'm gonna put two more zeros on my answer. So 6,400 divided by eight gives me 800. Okay, and I had picked a number smaller than our actual value. So if I use this exact value, I would have to get an answer bigger, right? Since 6,743 is bigger than 6,400. So I'm gonna get an answer that's a little bigger than 800. And that's enough for me to answer this question because a number a little bigger than 800 must be greater than 631. One thousand nine hundred eighty nine divided by five. I want to compare that to two hundred and fifty six. OK, well, if I round this number, one thousand nine hundred eighty nine is really close to two thousand. OK, and this is going to be much easier math for me if I say two thousand divided by five. OK, and the reason I say that is that five goes into 20, right? If five goes into 20 four times, well, this had two more zeros in 20, then five must go into this 400 times, right? Just bringing those two zeros along. So if the answer to 2000 divided by five is 400, this must just be a tiny bit smaller than 400. Well, a little bit smaller than 400 is still bigger than or greater than 256. Four thousand 
300 divided by 5, and I want to compare that to 606. Okay, so again, I want to round this off to a number that I'm going to evenly, easily be able to divide by 5. Okay, well, I could either round this up to 4,500 or down to um, 4,000. This is pretty close to 4,500. So let's say I take 4,500 divided by 5 and see what that gives me. And the reason I'm picking this is I know 5 goes in the evenly into 45. Right, 5 goes into 45 nine times, and there was two more zeros in 45, so my answer is going to have two more zeros. Right, so we're basically thinking 5 goes into 45 nine times, 5 goes into 0, 0 times, and 5 goes into 0, 0 times. Or just using our place value to bring those two zeros along. Okay, well I rounded up a little bit, so the answer for this would be just a little bit smaller than 900. So I think that's probably going to be bigger than 606. Now, if you're not sure because you're like, wait, isn't 600 a little smaller? What you could do to make sure is say, okay, well, let me pick the number, another number that's easy to work with that's a little smaller. Let's try 4,000 divided by 5 and see what that gives us. Well, 5 goes into 40 eight times, and then this has two more zeros, so I'm going to bring down two more zeros. Okay, well, if 4,000 divided by 5 is 800, and 4,500 divided by 5 is 900, the actual number was in between there. So my answer would be somewhere in between or in the middle of 800 and 900. So that has to be larger or greater than 606.